Hello and welcome to my video tutorial about the Sega Dreamcast emulator by Standalone Fighter. This tutorial will teach you how to successfully emulate the Sega Dreamcast and play Sega Dreamcast games. To get the emulator files you need to go to www.mudev.org forward slash nordc forward slash the link will be in the description so don't worry you don't have to remember it all. When you're at the website you want to download Null DC Beta 1.6. Download the file to the desktop. When you have downloaded the file right click on the file and click on extract file. If you do not have this option then go to the second link in the description and install the software and then you'll be able to extract the file. Now that the files are extracted we need to get the BIOS files for the um, Sega Dreamcast emulator which goes inside the data file. To get the BIOS files you need to go to www.muparadise.org forward slash BIOS files forward slash BIOS .html. The link will be in the description so don't worry you won't have to memorize it. When you get to the website you'll see an advert that lasts 15 seconds. You'll have to wait 15 seconds for the stupid advert to go away. Once the advert is gone, um, the file will be called Dreamcast BIOS. Download that file into the data file. Extract the BIOS files. When you've extracted the files, go to the folder and then inside the folder you'll see two files. Uh, take those files and put them inside the data folder so it should look something like this now you have to rename the file called dcbios.bin to dcboot.bin okay now that we got all the emulator files set up we just got to get the ROMs or games. ROMs just a technical jargon for game. Okay, to get the ROMs you need to go to www.coolrom.com forward slash ROMs forward slash DC forward slash. Again, it will be in the description. I downloaded the first ROM I could see which was called Aero Wing to my desktop. When the ROM you have chosen to download has finished downloading, extract the files. I couldn't be asked to wait half an hour for the file to download, so I just used one I've already downloaded. Okay, now that you have finished downloading the ROMs and extracted the ROMs to the desktop, go to your emulator folder and launch the application inside it. Once the application has loaded, click on System, then Start, and then locate the ROM file. Once the ROM has loaded, it should look something like this. You need to set up the controls for a controller or a keyboard to set the time and date. I'll leave that up to you because you could be using a gamepad, you could be using a keyboard, you could be using a mouse, I don't know. Anything. So I'll just leave that up to you. To configure the controls, just go to Options, Select Plugins, and then under where it says Maple, Port A, select one of them. Uh, just keep trying all of them because one of them will eventually work. I had to try all of them to get my controller to work. And uh, once you've selected it, uh, where it should say None and None. For that you just want to select Null DC VM U. And you want to do that for the second None as well. It, there should be two blank spaces. Then once you've done that, click on OK go to options maple port a and then go to configure keys for player one uh, depending on which plugin will depend on the options it will give you it's literally a chance game with this 
So once you have set up the controls, um, yeah, you can just play your games. Um, here's one of my games that I'll just show you now as a demonstration. Stage select. Thanks for watching my tutorial, um, hopefully you would have got a game to run successfully on your emulator. Um, the tutorial is also on my website standalonefighter.co.uk although the tutorial is slightly different but uh, it still does the same job. Um, yeah and uh, happy gaming. Oh and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.